In Evil West, developer Flying Wild Hawk presents an enticing premise. Imagine an uh, action-adventure game set in the old American frontier at a vampiric twist. Evil West is a classic gothic western gunslinger taking the reins that Dark Watts left behind two decades ago with a suitably absurd premise. Going hands-on with a 30-minute demo at Gamescom 2022, it didn't take too long to become one of our most anticipated games this year. Playing as Jess Rain here, a cowboy working for vampire hunters, we enjoyed by fellow cowboy Edgar Gravenor as a two-man band. While Edgar is unavailable in single player, something we are told is due to last chain constraints, there's two player online co -op. and we are told it will take 10 to 15 hours to complete this campaign. Jumping straight into the second chapter, we found this pair towing a coffin with a bound vampire inside, using Chester to enter a tomb. For someone who's been kidnapped, there's surprisingly light-hearted banter here with the trio exchanging casual keeps and it sets a welcoming tone. Once this cutscene ended, we began traversing a devastated town above the surface, gradually making our way underground before finishing on a major boss fight. This is restricted to a mostly linear path using a grappling hook to cross gaps. Though Evil West does reward you for exploration, you won't stray too far from the main path. Though anyone feeling more thorough can find points, you to purchase improvements for your weapons plus enemy notes with fresh lore. Unsurprisingly, chest path is littered with enemies and combat where Evil West truly shines. Combining elements of God of War and Devil May Cry, there's a good mix of ranged and melee attacks which Evil West encourages you to cycle through. Further options are unlockable later on like a flamethrower but for this demo our only ranged option is Jesus Rifle. Dealing extra damage should you hit an enemy's weak spot. It does the job as an all-rounder but if you would prefer some fireworks, nothing like shooting a few explosive barrels for a quick kill. For those who like getting close and personal, Jesse is a powerful figure. He can strike down bandits with a powerful kick, use an overcharged fist strike and more making them explode from the impact's sheer force. You could even knock them off a cliff edge or into a spike trap. Each area prevents an advantage and it's satisfying every time. While Jess can self-heal, this comes with a cooldown but melee attacks can cause force to drop extra health rewarding those who risk getting close. Flying Hawk hasn't held back with combat and in this mission alone, each enemy came with their own quirks and attack patterns to learn. Playing on normal difficulty, we died a couple of times as force overwhelmed us, but you would never lose much progress. If anything, you feel encouraged to try again. Kills are all incredibly gory too. We are ripping apart these fools in a way that's reminiscent Sand of Doom Eternal. Skill we can build upon this further through Jesse's skill tree and though we weren't able to unlock many new abilities during this demo, it's clear he's got room to grow upon leveling up between improving existing abilities for additional damage, reducing cooldown times or gaining new attacks. So this might have been a short demo but already Evil West feels like a winner. Thanks to its light humor, satisfying combat and intriguing narrative, Flying Wild Hawk's latest feels fresh yet familiar. Sure, ripping apart enemies won't be everyone's cup of tea but as things stand, it's one of the more promising games we have played in a while. And as for the release date, Evil West is releasing on November which is actually delayed two months back. If you enjoyed this video, do give a thumbs up to this video, also subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and also let me know what you think about this game in this comment section down below and I will get back to you with a response. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Till then, take care and keep watching.